of Smash. It is the last day of Smash, but not really. We've still got Sunday, haven't we? We've still got Sunday to go. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, no. Well, it was so awful. They made Jesus carry his cross all through the streets. And they gave him a crown, and it was made of thorns. And they made fun of him, and they mocked him, laughed at him, said he was the king of the Jews. And it was so heartbreaking to watch. And then he nailed him to the cross. Got special paint pens that we can use to design a pattern on the outside and the inside if you've got time. And then for the parent, there is a real tea light candle to take home, obviously under supervision. <laughs> Super Savior to the rescue, Super Savior, mighty to save. Oh, let here comes Jesus up, up and out of the grave. Someone's praying, Lord, kumbaya. Someone's praying, Lord, kumbaya. Okay, let's go hiking. Up those mountains. And down those mountains. Let's pack our backpacks. Oh, everyone freeze. Enjoyed Smash Club? Yeah. Have you enjoyed singing songs? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got one more thing to do. Backpacks on. Backpacks on. Backpackers ready? Backpackers ready. Let's go. Let's go. But where are we going? Are we going? Let's find out. Let's go. Hello and a very warm welcome to our Smash Club family service here at St Michael's Church in Braintree. I'll be saying a bit more about Smash Club in a moment. But before that, just a few other things to mention. The first is that this evening, this is Sunday the 1st of August at 6.30 p.m., we're having Zoom Holy Communion. We've been having it on the first Sunday of each month. The link for it has gone out on my weekly email, but if you haven't got that and you'd like to join us for Zoom Communion, an informal breaking of bread together on Zoom, then do please get in touch with me and I'll send you that link. The other thing to mention is our plans for the summer services. The next four, four Sundays during August, we join together our children's and family services and our adult services and we have one family service each, each week. It's launched at 10 o'clock on our YouTube channel, pre-recorded, it's also available on St Michael's by phone, as well as being here in the church. I say in the church, on the 22nd of August, we'll have it outside, outside on the grass, weather permitting. And this year, we're looking at some of the miracles of Jesus. And they don't just show us something about uh, Jesus' amazing power, but about his love and forgiveness and a whole lot of other aspects of, of his, his life. So do please join us if you can, in whatever way is right for you over the summer. But we are changing things here in church, and so for that reason I want to take you first of all uh, over to the entrance uh, there, and I'll ex explain some of it to you. 
Well, a number of things are going to stay the same if you come into St Michael's Church. We'd still ask that you come in this door, the north door, and have a, a one-way system. We're still having some social distancing. You'll still find some hand sanitizer. Give yourself a squirt of that as you come in. And also we'll keep a record of who's, who's come to the services uh, for NHS test and trace. But there are some differences. The next four Sundays, so Sunday the 8th, 15th, 22nd and 29th of August, there's no need to pre-book a seat. If you'd like to come to church, uh, just come on, uh, on one of those Sundays. And you'll find a couple of uh, new things. One is that you'll find some of these uh, sheets. Please do not sit here, sheets. And as you come in, if you'd like to, do please take one of these, and I'll show you what to do with them in a moment. And the other thing that you'll find is some, some stickers. They say, please give me space. And if you'd like to, just take one of these stickers, uh, pop it on your, your clothes, uh, and it just gives an indication to people that you still like to have a bit of social distancing when you're, you're chatting to people uh, before or after the service. But come on in and I'll show you something else. So one thing that we've changed in terms of the seating is that rather than have every third pew uh, available, we've made it every other pew that's available. That means in practical terms, there's still, when you're sitting in a pew, a, a generous metre between you and the person in front. But the, the other thing is that these, these sheets, um, these please do not sit here sheets, that they're designed that you can pick one up at the door and then when you go and find your seat, because you won't be allocated a seat, you sit wherever you choose to, when you go and find your seat, you can put some of these beside you uh, to, to indicate that you want to, to not sit right next to somebody else, but you want to have just a little bit, bit of space between you and the next person. We're encouraging everyone to continue to wear face coverings, unless you're medically exempt or uh, 11 years or under, uh, and we are singing together, congregational singing, with face coverings on, but we are able to sing together within the church building and, of course, uh, for our outdoor service without face coverings outdoors. As we begin to socialise more, we would just ask that you respect uh, other people's sense of social distancing. We're putting out a questionnaire over the summer uh, with a number of questions just to get a sense of what people, what church members, people within the, the church family are wanting and expecting uh, over the coming weeks and months in terms of how we lay out an organised church. So do please respond to that as that will greatly help us in planning for the autumn and beyond. Well we've been having a wonderful week at Smash Club uh, God's been good to us in terms of weather. We've had the vast majority of it outside in Church House Garden. Uh, and we've been learning about the last week of Jesus' life, from his triumphal entry on Palm Sunday, and some of those things that happened to him. And today we're thinking about Jesus' resurrection, how Jesus didn't just die for our sins, but rose to life again. So as we begin, a prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much that you came and left the glories of heaven to come and live and die and rise again for us. Help us to know your presence with us today as we worship. Amen. Well, let me hand over to Rachel now. Thank you. Well, what a wonderful, wonderful week we have had at Smash Holiday Club. And in this service, we are going to celebrate everything that we have done this week. Uh, but first, we are going to start with a song. It's been our theme song of the week, Super Saviour. Who 
could save the day Take our sins away Who can rescue us with mighty power Super Savior to the rescue Super Savior mighty to save Look, look, here comes Jesus Up, up and out of the grave Super Savior to the rescue Super Savior mighty to save Look, look, here comes Jesus Up, up and out of the grave He's the death crusher Sin smasher, who's the mighty super savior? Jesus, he's a death crusher. Sin smasher, who's the mighty super savior? Jesus. Save the day, take our sins away. Who can rescue us with mighty power? Super Savior to the rescue, Super Savior mighty to save. Look, look, here comes Jesus up, up and out of the grave. Super Savior to the rescue, Super Savior. things that we think, we do, and we say. We call that sin. We know that because of Jesus, we are completely forgiven. So we are going to join together now in the words of a confession. The words will appear on the screen. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God, who sent his Son into the world, to save sinners, bring us his pardon and peace, now and forever. Amen. Hello, everybody. This being a Smash Club service, we wanted to share with you some of the exciting activities we got up to last week. Our theme this year for Smash Club was backpackers. And uh, our backpackers travelled all over Europe, meeting all sorts of people, getting up to all sorts of excitement, and learn all about Jesus. This was our setup. Uh, each everyone uh, arrived in the church house garden every morning with our blankets and chairs, and uh, we're able to get on with some activities on our clipboards while we uh, munched on some refreshments. Um, it was also where we sang all our songs, had all our Bible stories, had all our dramas, uh, and just had a really good time together. Uh, we met Sweet. Uh, Sweet and Rachel uh, joined us every day and uh, went on adventures and uh, brought us lots of smiles. We had uh, crafts to be getting on with, crafts and the activity books. Um, the crafts were something they could take home um, and add to at home. And the activity books were also something they could, uh, the children could work through throughout the week and then uh, take home also. Uh, we had uh, dramas from the uh, the Smash team. Um, we met up with Tracy slash Trevor. They were our trip advisors for these backpackers. And uh, they bumped into all sorts of people throughout the week, uh, including a Roman um, and uh, even a disciple. Um, and they shared their stories with us, um, which was fantastic to hear about. 
uh, we had our mini makes. So our mini makes was when the, the children could go home um, and they could um, bring out their creativity uh, and then send their photos in or bring their, uh, bring their um, mini makes in. Um, it was so lovely to see. Um, got so many, got, had so many more than I can show you today. Um, and uh, it was just really, really exciting to see. So uh, a big thank you to all the Smash Club helpers and uh, you, the backpackers, you themselves, uh, you are all amazing. Um, thank you for joining us on this adventure and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. So our next song is called Great Great Brill Brill. This is a firm favourite with all of our Smash Clubbers. The actions go like this. Great, great, brill, brill, wiki, wiki, skill, skill. So I hope you can all join in at home. Well, now is our prayer time, so we're going to pray together. And as this is our Smash Club service, let us say a big thank you to God for our Smash Club week. And after each sentence that I say, can you be ready to say, thank you, God. Oh God, our Father, we want to say a huge thank you for Smash Club this year. It was different, but it was so good. Thank you, God. For all our helpers, especially Rachel and her team, and for the lovely weather we had. Thank you, God. For being with each other and for all the games, activities, singing, refreshments that we enjoyed every day. Thank you, God for all that we have been able to learn this last week about the last week in Jesus' life on earth and how Jesus loved us so much that he died on the cross and rose again so that today he can be our friend and king. Thank you, God. Amen. Now we're going to ask God to help some people. So this time, can you be ready to say after each sentence, Thank you, God, for hearing our prayer. Oh God, we pray for some people who could not be with us at Smash Club because of COVID-19. Will you help those isolating to find lots to do 
and those who are ill to recover. We thank you that the news tells us that the numbers of people with COVID-19 are decreasing and we pray that this will continue. Thank you God for hearing our prayer. We pray for people whom we know who are sad or unhappy for any reason, for those recovering from operations, that they will know that you are with them and can help them every day. Thank you, God, for hearing our prayer. We thank you for St Michael's Church and pray that you will encourage and bless us during August in our special family services. May all those going on holiday have happy times, be safe and come back rested to serve and love you. Thank you, God, for hearing our prayer. We pray for our mission of the month, Langham Partnership, and for their work in helping many people to be able to teach the truth about the Bible in parts of the world where it is very difficult sometimes to learn about Jesus. Thank you, God, for hearing our prayer. Finally, God, will you be with us all who are praying now to love you more and know you better each day and to serve you as our friend and king forever. Thank you, God, for hearing our prayer. Amen. That's the wrong room. I really must try and stop getting lost. Ah, oh, here we are. Yes, oh, hello, yes. Okay, let's see here. Um, suspect uh, uh, VI, case file XVI, IVII. The time is XXX. You okay? It's just you look, um, you look uh, very puzzled. As if you're not sure what's going on. Oh, you, well, you're being interviewed. Uh, I've got you down as under arrest and being interviewed for links to a Tracy and a Trevor. They are, uh, they are the travel agents. Uh, Clue was in their nickname, agents. Um, they're against the, against the Romans and the high priests. So I'm afraid we've had to bring you in. Uh, I've just got to ask you a few questions. That's all right. No comment, yeah, I was expecting that. Um, okay, I'm just gonna show you a few exhibits. So uh, for purposes of recording, I'm just going to state the, uh, the numeral of the exhibit. So uh, just showing exhibit I, do you recognize this at all? No comment? Uh, well, I can tell you that you've been making them uh, ready for when Jesus' arrival. Uh, I'm showing exhibit II, do you recognize this? No, no comment? Okay, well we brought him in, but we're having trouble translating him, uh, getting a bit caught up on all the eels. Uh, let's see what's next. Um, oh yes, exhibit III. Do you recognise this at all? This was used to anoint Jesus' body before he was put on the cross? No comment? Okay, this is going to take a while. Um, okay, so we did also have, uh, I've got notes here for a Passover, but uh, I can't see any evidence for the, oh, there's a note here, eaten by Bacchus. Um, okay, that's rather embarrassing. Uh, we'll just skip over that one. Um, apparently there was, a, uh, there was a, a soldier that came and met you last week. Apparently he looks a lot like me, but uh, it wasn't. Um, is quite a simple answer. No comment? Okay, you're gonna play that game. Uh, before we go any further, um, can you please just uh, state the name of your lawyer? Uh-huh, can you spell that for me please? Yeah, J-E-S-U-S. -S. Oh, um, okay. Um, that puts me in a bit of a tricky situation. That's, um, Possibly the best lawyer you could get. Did he not uh, die? 
he was resurrected. Ah, oh, that explains exhibit V. Um, okay, that puts me in quite the predicament because we've uh, we're never going to win a case against Jesus. Um, he's possibly, as I say, the best lawyer you've got on your side. Um, yeah, I think it's best that we terminate this interview. Um, I really uh, appreciate the time. Um, my name is um, Mars, um, like the chocolate bar. Um, but uh, p please don't go around telling everyone that I interviewed you because, um, yeah, I don't really want to be dealing with this uh, Jesus guy. Um, yeah, uh, b best of luck to you. Uh, sorry for the all the troubles. Um, uh, it's got to be way. It's not, it's not that way. Uh, which way out? Okay, I'm coming. Our reading today is taken from John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save it through him. Good morning, everybody. We've had a really good time at Smash Club this week. The refreshments have been refreshing. The songs have been exciting. The craft work has been skillfully done. The Bible has been explained and taught and it's been really good. And the drama has been excellent. We've had a good time. And the weather on the whole has been very good to us. And uh, it's my privilege to uh, bring Smash Club, so to speak, to a great climax. And that's to talk about uh, the resurrection and everlasting life, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and the everlasting life that he brings. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, uh, please help us as, and speak to us that we may know, love and trust you better. Amen. I want to tell you about one of the happiest holidays that I ever had. And it rained. My cousins came to stay with us and I went back with them to their home in Dundee. The problem was that uh, Scottish school holidays end before English school holidays so they went back to school and I had a few days to spend on my own and the plan was that I would spend them with my grandma. Well the first day back at school, the first day that I was on my own, it rained. So I put on my raincoat, as we had in those days, got on the bus and went to Grandma's house. And we couldn't go out. She planned to take me to Carnoustie, and then another day to go on the ferry to Fife, and then perhaps climb the famous Law Hill. But these things couldn't happen because it was raining torrents. So instead, we made, in my Grandma's kitchen, rhubarb and ginger jam. Delicious. The next day, it rained again. So I put on my raincoat, got on the bus, went to Grandma's house, soaked, and she got a great big jigsaw out. It took us all day to do it. Let me finish that. Third day, you've got it, it rained again. So Grandma and I put on our raincoats and our wet gear, and we went to the library. She got some books. And she used her ticket to get me some books. In those days, there wasn't Harry Potter, but there was a famous story for boys about a man called Biggles who flew for the RAF. So I got a couple of Biggles books and read those in, you know, Grandma's house. But I enjoyed that very much because my cousins and I knew one thing, that our grandma loved us very much. And it didn't matter if it uh, rained, we were with her and we enjoyed being with her. I think everlasting life is like that because it will be enjoying the love of God, our Heavenly Father. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish, says the Bible, but have everlasting life. He loves us, he's made it possible for us to come and enjoy his everlasting life, that is his love. He sent his son to die for us so that we shouldn't perish, but enjoy something far, far better, enjoy everlasting life. John, who wrote those words, also wrote uh, a letter 
and he wrote it to some Christian folk and he says, I want you to know about the Lord Jesus Christ because in him is life. And if you know and love him, then you're destined for life and you will enjoy his love as well. It's said about the Holy Spirit that uh, he brings God's love and pours it into our hearts. And another thing about him is this, it says, that he will raise our mortal bodies. In other words, he will bring us to everlasting life so that we can enjoy the love of our Heavenly Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Holy Spirit. Those are the things that are in store for all those who turn and trust in our Lord Jesus Christ. Someone might say, well, isn't everlasting life a bit boring? I'd be all right for the first few days, enjoying uh, new meeting old friends, old family, other Christians, meeting the Lord Jesus Christ, being in with him. But won't it be a bit boring? Well, I think the Bible gives us a bit of a clue about that. Way back at the beginning, it says when God made the world, right at the centre of the world, he made a garden. And he put the man Adam in the garden to look after it and care for it. Then things went wrong. And God said, because it's all gone wrong, there's a price to pay. Adam, you're going to find that it's going to be hard work, sweaty work, dirty work to look after my garden. And you won't enjoy working again. You see the point? When God made his garden, work was a pleasure. And I think that's what everlasting life is going to be like. We will enjoy the love of God and we will enjoy doing whatever he has in store for us. It won't be a burden, it will be a pleasure. So it's well worth finding this everlasting life. And here's how we do. John chapter 3 verse 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Whoever turns and trusts in the Lord Jesus Christ has this great inheritance to look forward to. Thank you, Stephen. God is the only one that can give us eternal life. And it sounds like God can do anything. So why don't we sing about that now? We did this song at Smash Club. So if you don't know already, it's a partner song. So grab yourself a partner so you can do the clapping along with them. If you haven't got a partner, don't worry. You can do it with me through the screen. I'll just run through with you the actions now. So we've got the, uh, the verse, which is God can do anything, anything at all. God can do anything, anything at all. And then it's don't put him in a box, shove him in a corner. Don't you limit what he can do. Don't put him in a box, shove him in a corner, and don't you limit what he can do. And let's see if you can keep up with when it speeds up. Enjoy. Don't shove him in a corner, don't you limit what he can do Don't put him in a box, don't shove him in a corner Don't you limit what he can do God can do anything, anything at all God can do anything, anything at all Nothing is too big for him and nothing is too small God can do anything, anything at all Don't put him in a box, don't shove him in a corner Don't you limit what he can do Don't put him in a box, don't shove him in a corner Don't you limit what he can do Don't put him in a box, don't shove him in a corner Don't you limit what he can do Don't put him in a box, don't shove him in a corner Don't you limit what he can do God can do anything, anything at all. Don't put him in the box, don't shove him in the corner. Don't you limit what he can do. Don't put him in the box, don't shove him in the corner. Don't you limit what he can do. God can do anything, anything at all. God can do anything, anything at all. Nothing is too big for him, and nothing is too small. God can do anything, anything at all. God can do 
Jesus is the King. You might want to join me with those words. Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, for your love for us. Jesus is the King. Thank you for suffering so that we can have new life. Jesus is the King. We praise you because you defeated death. Jesus is the King. Help us to know that you are always with us. Jesus is the King. Amen. I hope that you have a wonderful week. Goodbye. <laughs>